Markets next. I've been talking to Jamil Ahmed, who's the Vice President of Corporate Development and Chief Market Analyst at FXTM. Can't get enough of Dubai Eye? Get much more at DubaiEye1038.com. Thank you very much for having me, guys. It's always a pleasure. Okay, so local markets, more positivity in the air today. The Dubai financial market concluded around 0.8% higher, and the Abu Dhabi exchange market is 1.4% higher at the time of closure. Okay, so basically higher oil prices are driving sentiment. The price of U.S. crude oil is now approached 10-month highs, and this could be very positive because on a weekly trading basis, if this oil market closes above $51 at the end of this week, this could encourage a further buying sentiment, which of course would be positive towards the local economy. What I'm focusing on right now from an international perspective is that overnight the global outlook was cut lower from the World Bank, and this has resulted in some risk aversion from investors and a general choppy environment around the global equity markets, which basically means global stocks are performing quite un indifferently. Um, there's ongoing concerns over the gl global economy. Oil prices, although higher, are still a little depressed. And of course, there is uncertainty over the U.S. interest rate outlook in 2016 and also the upcoming EU referendum, which is now in just over two weeks' time. Now, this brings me to the currency markets. Most of the action is in the British pound. A huge level of uncertainty with the upcoming EU referendum looming ever closer. Most of the risks are still towards the downside, and since we last spoke, we've seen the British pound fall heavily as a result of investors realizing that it's not a foregone conclusion that the UK will remain in the European Union when the vote takes place. Dollar is trading with some fragility once again following a very unexpectedly weak U.S. non-prime payroll report on Friday. And due to the risk aversion in the markets, investors are still looking a little bit more attractive towards the Japanese yen.